Coming up on this edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle, we'll have highlights and recap the final non-conference game for the Seahawks this season. Also coming up, we'll look back at the first two months of the regular season. The Seahawks 6-3, and three, plenty of good highlights to take a look at. We'll also reintroduce you to Craig Ponder, a guy familiar to Seahawks fans, but now back on the coaching staff at Takeo Siddle. We'll also have this week's Play of the Week, the Player of the Week, and look ahead to conference play, which begins this weekend in Philadelphia for UNCW. All that straight ahead on this edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle, which starts right now. Welcome everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring Takeo Siddle. I'm your host Mike Becker, alongside the coach. Hoping that you had a great holiday and getting ready for the new year here. And coach, uh, you're getting ready for conference play, which is kind of a new year for you. But before that, you head into the holiday break with a non-conference game against Delaware State. Just your second home game all season long. But you go into that game and, and I know your biggest concern was your kids staying focused with the holidays and time with the family right around the corner. Yeah, that was my biggest concern. Uh, going into the game, where was their mindset? Was it at home already or were they uh, ready to come out and take care of business first and then go home? Uh, I thought for the most part we did a, a good job. We had a little lull, a lull in the first half where I didn't like uh, our energy level um, and I thought it affected us on both ends of the floor. And, um, you know, we came back in the second half and took care of business. Yeah, you led wire to wire in this game against Delaware State. And again, another concern of yours going in was their ability to take a lot of threes here. You kind of shut them down from that aspect of this game as well to get this victory. Yeah, I thought our pressure was really good um, and extended full court. And they had to take a lot of deep threes. And we did a really good job rebounding those long shots and uh, it turned into some offense for us. Now you look at UNCW, it was a season high 43 rebounds in this game. And this game also gave you a chance to rest some of your typical guys that are logging 30 plus minutes. They didn't do that in this game. You have a chance to play all 10 guys as well. So a lot of guys come away with some positives with this contest. Yeah, I wanted some uh, the other guys who don't normally play as much to get some uh, extended minutes. And as we move into conference play, I wanted to see if I can get an eight, nine man rotation uh, that I feel comfortable with. And I was able to get some guys like Amaje Dodd some extended minutes. He did a really good job. Um, you know, I played Jake Boggs at some different positions uh, because we'll have to use him at playing some four a little bit. So uh, it gave me a chance to see some of those things. Late in the game as well, Jamari Harvey, the freshman, was in there. He was at the point guard position. May not do that again this season, but just to kind of see how he was going to handle the ball, I think that was a plus as well. That was a plus. I wanted to see how he could handle the ball with, you know, while being pressured and make decisions while being pressured. And I think it helped him in that area. So again, UNCW, just their second home game all season long in the non-conference slate against Delaware State last week. Let's take a look now at our Harris Teeter highlights. Fox setting a screen, Harvey to the top of the key with the dribble. Left to Gadsden, Gadsden three is good. And a good start for Gadsden and the Seahawks here, three nothing. Harvey left side, another jump shot for him at the baseline connects. Harvey a really good start here for the Kent drives it left, hangs in the air, the bank shot around and through for Jalen Sims. Back-to-back -back double doubles, nice ball fake, frees him up for a three that he knocks in. Not bad, first shot of coming off the bench, not to be any kind of success, have to recruit out of the area. Sims, nice move, spinning away on the right block, and it's 53, just 20 turnovers in contest. Harvey the lob to Boggs, Boggs will just lay it over the left side of the cylinder. Harvey drives it in, loader too hard, tipped up to the line by Bridget. Bridget will bank it in. Boy, just so active on the glass and Yorkley. Drives in, nearly stumbles with it, goes to Bridget, left corner, three at the shot clock, buzzer, knocks it in. Near sideline, gaps a quick three from the corner, good, and he's bound by Wiley as well. The bonus. Driving left is Gaston. Left to the paint, he'll lean in as no help came, and he'll just bank it in. Chris Stainmore is ball coming out of the 
time out, and it knocked away and stolen now by Gaston. Gaston on the break, Gaston lays it up and in. Ty Gaston, a huge second half, 21 points. It's on, gets it out front to Sims. Your sideline, Tolfrey into Okaro to blow and blow and reverse layup. Good, great ball movement there, Marty, to get a nice reverse layup. John Bowen guard here with Okaro and others on the bench, and he lobs it up to Dodd. Dodd says, yeah, you, you're a pretty good point guard right there. Down against Sims, pitch through the paint, and it's blocked away by Dodd. Drops it to Dodd, Dodd right side, Dodd will make it in. Battling against a 6'10", Zach Kent, 79. 53, back the other way, Dodd will block it away out of bounds. So it drops the baseline, boy, up in the air, nowhere to go. Hit the bottom side of the backboard, but right there for the rebound, a put back with Joe Bridget. 87-63 final score, the Seahawks win by 24. They led by 12 at halftime, tacked on another 12 in the second half as well. Coach, you shoot 48%, but on the flip side, defensively, you hold Delaware State to 36.5% shooting in this game, 28% in the first half as well. So. As we've seen, as the season progresses, the defense continues to get better and better. It's getting better, and we talk about different ways we can score. Uh, I think if we get stops and run, um, you know, rebound the ball so we can run, run the court and get some easy baskets, uh, it's got to be something that we hang our hat on. I think our defense is getting better. Our communication is getting better. Our help side is getting better. Overall, our defense is getting better, and I like where we're going. As you talked about, I think the, the radio show, communication with young kids these days isn't always there because they're always on their phone devices, but to have that on the court is a big plus right now. It is, and that's something that we harp on every single day. Um, we, we really pay attention to that, and we're trying to get our guys to communicate uh, better and a little bit more uh, every day. So we're getting better in that area as well. Well, again, a big win, 87-63 the final score. Ty Gatson led the way with 21 points and a third straight double-double for Joe Pridgen, 14 points and 10 rebounds. As I mentioned, a season-best 43 rebounds as a team for UNCW. Again, they close out the non-conference slate 6-3 and three now heading into the conference this weekend. We'll take a break here. When we get back, we'll look back at the first two months of the regular season for UNCW, a pretty good one for the Seahawks, and we'll have some highlights to prove it as well. Stay with us. More to come after this. Time to start it up, America. You've got a lot of joy to make. And we're kicking off the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event because you've got turkeys to fry and thanks to give. To help you do it right, we're giving you 90 days payment deferment and 1,000 trade assist cash on the Built Ford Tough F-150 and Ford Ranger. That's on top of what your eligible trade is worth. That'll make a lot of joy this season. Now get F-150 with up to 11,000 in total savings, including a thousand trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Right now is the perfect time to buy gifts for your family and friends with gift cards from Harris Teeter. Because when you do, you earn two times the fuel points. Buy $200 in gift cards and get 400 fuel points. You save 40 cents per gallon. Buy $500 in gift cards and get 1,000 fuel points. That's a dollar off per gallon. This Christmas, buy your gift cards at Harris Teeter and save big at the pump. coast of North Carolina lies one of the best universities in the Southeast, the University of North Carolina Wilmington. UNC Wilmington, giving flight to imagination. Well, once again, a great start for the Seahawks at 6-3, and three, but certainly it was not easy. We'll get to the highlights in a moment, Coach, but you play all nine games you had scheduled when you were supposed to play them. I mean, that in itself is an accomplishment right now as you're seeing what's going on in the landscape of, of college athletics. So you talk about team efforts, certainly a team effort to make sure that was going to be the case. It absolutely was, and it took everybody in the program. You know, our, my coaching staff did a, a tremendous job uh, helping our guys out, and our guys, I want to give credit to them as well. 
Um, like I told you before, they don't have a social life now. It's to the gym and back to their apartment or dorm room. Um, and it's tough on them. It's tough on everybody because we all love being around people and that's what we're accustomed to. Uh, but for them not to have a social life and to still take care of business every day and for us to get all nine games in is tremendous. And to only have two at home as well, to be six and three right now, you said yesterday on the, the coaches show that, you know, this team, even in losses, learned from it and got better. So I think that says a lot about this program and where you're trying to take it right now. Yeah, I think, you know, on both sides, we lost uh, three games. We learned from all three of those and we won six. And I think we learned some things from uh, the six wins that we had that we had as well um, throughout the season. Can you get better from game to game, from practice to practice? Uh, is a challenge that, that you know we all face as head coaches, um, but that's part of the process, and I think we're doing a really good job of that right now. As you said in the last segment, you know the defense has gotten better because the communication has been good. What else have you learned about your your club for the first two months of the season? Offensively, um, you know, finding different ways to score. You know, the other day we watched our turnovers because that's an area that we need to clean up, and. Um, you know, the last three days of practice, we've been making a conservative effort, everybody, uh, of taking care of the ball and making the right and simple play. Uh, I think that we're starting to do that a little bit better right now. Guards leading the way right now. Jalen Sims still your leading scorer, but Joe Pridgen, a big plus. He gets the waiver, the Holy Cross transfer, averaging, you know, almost a double-double right now. I mean, what has he added to this team and, and something that maybe you didn't expect to have when you got into the season? Well, I knew he could rebound the basketball. Uh, he averaged close to a double-double uh, at Holy Cross. But at the level that he's doing it right now, he's getting almost three offensive rebounds a game. And his energy and toughness um, is something that we needed in, in a big way. And uh, he's bringing it every day. And you don't have to run anything for Joe. Joe's a guy, he's a breath of fresh air for me. You don't have to run any plays for him. He'll go get it off the glass. He'll go get it in transition. Uh, he'll do some random cutting. Um, so it's been good to have Joe around and just to add another good basketball player to our mix is, is something that we needed. Yeah, right now four double-doubles for Pridgen. He is number one in the conference among the top ten in the nation as well. So all part of a successful first two months of the basketball season for UNCW. Let's take a look now at the, the first two months with some highlights, our Rage Jewelers highlights. Spot up the triple, rattles it in. Carolina the rest of the way. Gaston, the three. That's good. Thought about the jumper instead. Rewards the big fella. Sims picked up by Jones. Stephens, three for Sims. Ooh, what a sweet shot by Sims. Harvey floating it up. Big dunk from Boggs. And it's a two point Seahawks lead. In the corner. Gets just enough space. My goodness, what a jab step from Gadsden to knock down. <laughs> I didn't want to be here. I didn't choose to be yeah, here. It's a switch off. Oh, big three from Sims. Three on two break. Kicks it out. Spot up. Okaru hits it. And that's what Wilmington does. Around the screen into the lane. Gadsden. Oh, my goodness. Quick release, and he knocks down the three. Boggs comes up with the basketball. Left side, O'Carro right back to Boggs. Finds a dunk in transition and gets fouled. Line left, Clay trying to get it in. Has to throw in the backcourt. O'Carro sniffs it out, steals, spins, drives, jams. Bowen, the handoff to Bridget, drives a baseline. Reverse layup is good. Boy, he's, he's smooth at times. He's got a great. Mike Carr, NBA three on the way. Nothing but net. The Florida transfer. He's going to pull it. Turnover for the Rebels. Here comes UNCW. Gaston feeds it to Pridgen. Chance to complete the three-point play. Vision by Henderson and the cut by McCullough. Really good job spacing. Off the main basket, Gaston. That's a pickup top. Harvey from long distance, yes, tickles the twine. Sims blows by the defense. Oh my goodness.
ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light, Celtic hip. Bay windows, got two. Nice tuck pointing hip. Retractable awning here, like it. Got the nice edging on the grass here. Edge the grass nice hip. Ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light, Celtic hip. Got a white breasted nut hatch hip. Right now is the perfect time to buy gifts for your family and friends with gift cards from Harris Teeter. Because when you do, you earn two times the fuel points. Buy $200 in gift cards and get 400 fuel points. You save 40 cents per gallon. Buy $500 in gift cards and get 1,000 fuel points. That's a dollar off per gallon. This Christmas, buy your gift cards at Harris Teeter and save big at the pump. Keep your eyes on the Monster Angus Thick Burger. With sizzling bacon and two one-third pound Angus beef patties. The monster is your daddy now. <laughs> the Monster Angus Thick Burger at Hardee's. Feed your happy. You can't know someone has COVID-19 just by looking at them. But you should know that everyone who wears a mask has a reason to fight it. Whatever your reason, get behind the mask. Welcome back, everybody. And as we've been doing, we've been introducing you to the staff here for UNCW men's basketball. And among those guys is someone familiar with UNCW, fans familiar with him. It's Craig Ponder, who's now the director of basketball operations. Coach, he's played in more games here at UNCW but than anybody else in history. So obviously people are familiar with him. But why, in your mind, was it important to have him part of this staff here with the Seahawks? Well, like all the rest of the guys that I hired, um, you know, what a great friend he is to me. And, you know, he's very loyal. I can trust him. Uh, but to have him back at his alma mater and to mentor our players was extremely important to me because he's walked the exact same walk that they're walking right now. And for them to be able to look at him as a mentor and him to guide them uh, on and off the court was something that we needed. And being a director of basketball operations during a pandemic, it is not easy. I, I know he kind of had some plans in place, things change here and there. So certainly it's a challenging year for everybody, but for those guys making the plans and the travel plans, it's a difficult season. Yeah, and he does a really good job with that. You know, Craig is in here at five, four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, uh, every day, even on the weekends. He's one of the hardest workers um, that we have and that I've been around. Um, you know, he punches the clock every single day um, you know, for him to have two different plans for each trip that we take or whatever we're doing, uh, he was ready for that, and he does a tremendous job for me. It seems like he could still play. You see them out there working with some of the guys as well. So, again, not to have somebody, just to have somebody who was here before, but recently as well has got to be a big plus. He can really relate to these kids. He can relate to them in, in a major way, and, uh, you know, I wish I could suit him up right now. You know, he'd be one of our better players, and, um, you know, he knows me. Very well. I recruited Craig, you know, back when he was coming out of Hargrave Military Academy. I recruited him to Gardner Webb, and um, he knows me in and out. I've been knowing him for, you know, a very long time. So um, it's good to have him around. Well, he's uh, not only a former Seahawk, but a CA champion as well during his time on the court playing. Now he's the director of basketball operations. Here's more on Craig Ponder. Hello, Seahawk Nation. It's Craig Ponder. I'm from Bluefield, West Virginia, and I'm the Director of Basketball Operations for the program. Uh, growing up in Bluefield, West Virginia is a very small town. This is where I fell in love with the game of basketball. I actually started playing when I was about five years old, and from there, uh, the rest is history. I played all throughout high school. After high school, I played at Hargrave Military Academy, where I first met Coach Keats. Um, after I met Coach Keats there at Hargrave, I, I continued my career here at UNCW. Uh, playing at UNCW, I met some of my best friends who are, who are now part of my family. Uh, after I graduated UNCW, I spent a, a year in England playing professionally. It was one of the best years of my life and I was able to learn a lot of things about not only myself but the game of basketball as well. Uh, during my time in England, I actually was in communication with Coach Keats, Coach Siddle a little bit as well, and Coach Stanley who was on the staff when I was a senior at UNCW. Coach Stanley talked me into coming to Arkansas State to be a graduate assistant for the program, and that's where I first began my coaching career. After that year, Coach Keats and I reunited at NC State. I worked there as a graduate assistant as well, and I just continued to build my, I just continued to sharpen my tools and learned a lot under those guys. Uh, during my time at NC State as a graduate assistant, Coach Siddle and I began to forge a really good friendship and relationship. When he accepted the job here at UNCW, 
few weeks went by and then he offered me the, the director of basketball operations position. It was a no brainer to me because, you know, obviously I love this place. Uh, after playing here for four years, I fell in love with the city and I also fell in love with the people here in Wilmington. Being back here at UNCW is a dream come true, especially in the situation that we're in now because during my playing career at UNCW was eerily similar to what's going on now. The guys are going through a coaching transition and you know I just want to be there to help those guys go through that because I know exactly what it's like. These guys have been working extremely hard and they remind me a lot of, of our teams here at UNCW when we were going through our transition process. Even though we can't have everyone gathered, we found new ways to make each occasion special. We're keeping your gifting experience both safe and personal through reads.com, answering all your questions and guiding you to the perfect present, just like we have for over 70 years. Family always finds a way to celebrate life's moments together, no matter what. You won't just shop with confidence at Reed's Jewelers and Reed's.com. You'll feel like family. Time to start it up, America. You've got a lot of joy to make. And we're kicking off the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event because you've got turkeys to fry and thanks to give. To help you do it right, we're giving you 90 days payment deferment and 1,000 trade assist cash on the Built Ford Tough F-150 and Ford Ranger. That's on top of what your eligible trade is worth. That'll make a lot of joy this season. Now get F-150 with up to 11,000 in total savings, including 1,000 trade assist on top of your eligible trade-in, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Along the coast of North Carolina lies one of the best universities in the Southeast, the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. UNC Wilmington, giving flight to imagination. Bring it back for this week's Logan Holmes Play of the Week, and we see some good ball movement here against Delaware State providing us our Play of the Week. Up front to Sims. Near sideline, Tolfrey into Ocaro to Bowen. Bowen reverse layup, good. Great ball movement there, Marty, to get a nice reverse layup from John Bowen. Once again, a look at the Logan Holmes play of the week. And Coach, you mentioned it earlier. You were looking at your, your assist to turnover ratio. And nice to see good team basketball there lead to reverse layup for UNCW. Yeah, you know, that's an area we have to continue to improve on. You know, we, we're scoring 80 points a game. And our assist numbers aren't where I want them to be. We're right at 12 a game. And we're turning the ball over 13 times a game. I want to get that assist number up to about uh, 16, 17 and that'll up our points per game average as well. And I want to get our turnovers down uh, to about nine or 10. Um, but we're doing a better job of it. We're making a, a conservative effort to take care of the ball and move the ball and share the ball a little bit more. And um, you know, when we do that, we're gonna be really tough to stop. Yeah, as we saw right there, again, our Logan Holmes play of the week. From the play of the week to the Carolina Ford Dealers player of the week, and just the one game to talk about here, Delaware State, but a guy that I know you're, you're pushing, you're trying to get some more out of him, Ahmad J. Dodd, a nice game coming off the bench. He's our player of the week. He did a really good job in the Delaware State game. You know, his attitude and his effort uh, on a consistent basis has been there lately. And, you know, for him to come into that game, he had great energy on the bench. Um, he was talking when he got out on the court. You know, he had four blocks. And he only had six points, but his energy and his communication was exactly where I needed it to be. He was confident in himself, uh, which is important for him. Um, he's a guy that I'm looking at, and I want to have him in our rotation on a consistent basis. Yeah, four blocks, a career high for Dodd. And he also got the, the toughness chain off of this as well. So rewarded for doing some of the little things that you don't always see on the stat sheet. Yeah, it's not all, always about scoring. Um, some guys have to do the dirty work. And in the Delaware State game, he did that and he deserved to get the toughness chain. 
So again, our Carolina Ford Dealers Player of the Week this week, Amaj Dodd. We'll take our final break. On the other side, we'll talk about that trip to Philadelphia for UNCW. The Drexel Dragons playing Saturday and Sunday in conference play. We'll talk about that matchup next. Okay. Whoa. She's the one, and you know it. At Reeds.com, we're making it easy to find the perfect ring from home. With helpful advice from our online jewelry experts, safe and discreet shipping, and beautiful ring packaging, you'll be confident the moment will be as perfect for her as she is for you. As a trusted jeweler for over 70 years, Reed's Jewelers will be here to make both of you feel like family. Long after she says yes. Good ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light, Celtic hip. Bay windows, got two. Nice tuck pointing hip. Retractable awning here, like it. Got the nice edging on the grass here. Edge the grass nice hip. Ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light, Celtic hip. Got a white breasted nut hatch hip. Wake up craving a made from scratch biscuit topped with tender prime rib and a fried egg? How about now? The new prime rib and fried egg biscuit at Hardee's. Feed your happy. You can't know someone has COVID 19 just by looking at them, but you should know that everyone who wears a mask has a reason to fight it. Whatever your reason, get behind the mask. Well, the non-conference slate behind UNCW now conference from here on out and it starts this weekend in Philadelphia. UNCW takes on Drexel Saturday and Sunday, both games at one o'clock at the DAC in Philly. And we'll have those for you on the breeze as well. But coach, obviously conference is doing things a little differently this year with COVID, with everything else wrapped into this playing back to back. I mean, what, what was your thoughts when you first saw that and starting on the road here at Drexel? When I first saw it, I. You know, I was kind of scratching my head a little bit, but when I thought about it a little deeper, uh, if we want to get games in, I think that's probably the best way for us to do it. Um, to open up going to Drexel, uh, who's preseason number three in our league, um, it's going to be a tough test for us, uh, but a test I think we'll be ready for, and we're excited about it. We talked about this on the radio show, but they are one of the best defensive teams, number two in the conference, limiting opponents to about 65 points a game. You're number one offensively, over 80 points a game. So trying to dictate the style of game, how do you do that? I think we, we got to start on the defensive end. That has to create some offense for us. And then when we get in the half court, you know, ball and player movement and patience is important. Uh, and within that, you know, sharp cuts, great screens, uh, running everything extremely fast and getting uh, not a good shot, but a great shot is what we've been talking about a lot lately. Um, so I think that'll be really important. And then if we uh, we take a shot, we have to go and get on the glass and do what we've been doing well. Hey, look at this team. The only one in the conference with two first team all conference players in the preseason. Cameron Winter, James Butler, two pretty good ones. They're really good players and we have to do a good job of making them inefficient. When I talked to you about yesterday, if if um, Winters is, you know, scoring 20 points, we have to make him take 20 shots. And we have to do a good job keeping Butler off the glass because I think that's where he makes his money at. So it'll be a group effort gang rebounding, and it'll be a group effort, you know, containing winter. So again, UNCW on the road at Drexel Saturday and Sunday. We'll have those starting at 1245 on the breeze for you as the Seahawks kick off the conference slate. Coach, best of luck. Thanks, Mike. He's to KO Siddle. I'm Mike McCarroll. Thanks for joining us here today. We'll see you next week for another edition of the Seahawk Basketball Show featuring to KO Siddle. Have a great day, everybody.